Hey, welcome back to Snapbolt Games. My name is Max, and I'm going to continue testing this blue-red storm deck. There is a PTQ coming up on Saturday, which is in a couple days, and uh, I have some other brews I want to get to. Uh, they'll be coming, but I actually might play this in the PTQ. I've been having a lot of success with it, and I think it has good matchups against the top three decks that I'm expecting. Um, so I want to continue to tune it because it is a brew. It needs more work than just like jamming one of the tier one decks. Um, so there's a couple of thoughts I'm unsure about still, and I want to get those locked down before Saturday. My channel is youtube.com slash snapbolt. Go check it out. There's a link down in the description below to subscribe to my channel. That's the first link. Below that, there's a link you can just go to my channel, check it out. You can check out all the other leagues with this deck. You can check out all my other decks. I have like a bunch of brews, a bunch of tier one decks. So go check out the leagues. Uh, and it's a lot of fun. I, ho I hope you like it. If you do, subscribe. If not, all good. And uh, throw a like on this video. Thank you so much. Okay. Now, what are we doing? This is Blue Red Storm. Uh, like I said, I've gone over a bunch of deck techs, so I don't want to do too much. We're just a combo deck with Alchemist, Archer, and we soul bond with Tandem Lookout. I've basically played this exact list, I think, in my last league, which was pretty sick. And we even played against the Mirror Match because people are starting to pick it up. I had a reasonable result in the challenge. I got 12th. And uh, I think people see that result and they've seen me posting and playing with the deck and they want to play with it too. So other people who I've talked to who have been playing the deck, they've played some mirrors. So uh, yeah, people are starting to play it and it, this is a real deck. So this is pretty sick. Uh, a couple cards that I'll just go over that I'm unsure about. I'm unsure about Snap. It could be one copy, could even go up to more copies. I just don't really know yet. But the two has been fine. I sided out a fair amount. One Echoing Truth and two an old or recent edition that I haven't really got to test yet. It just seems good to have against Mono White, uh, Heroic, and against Boggles. Just, I think that those are the best cards. Um, there is some other options, but I, I think those are those are decent. And I like the four Pyroblast, four Hydroblast. Two Candidates has been nice. And I'm not sure about the Shannon's the Gorilla Shaman split, but I think that's reasonable. I don't know about three scred. It could be one snap, four scred. Uh, it's it's hard to say. I, I, I'm going to try this build again, and then maybe we'll get a little more information after this league. But let's just jam. Let's go uh, right into round one. Excuse me. All right. Welcome to round one. We're against Redder Tori. And let's play first. Mulligan the zero lander. Just don't even need to look at the cards that are in the hand. We just don't have any lands. Opponent's on six as well. I'm going to keep this on six. Now I think it's between putting back this bell and putting back a land. I think just putting back a land is fine. I'll probably naturally draw a land. And if I don't, I don't. But I think this spell is actually good in a lot of matchups. That's why I have it in the main. It's also just good in this deck because most things that break up the combo are instants. So... I think having the Dispels is nice. All right, let's settle in. Let's see what we're up against. Is it Stompy? Oh, it's Boggles. Okay, well, this is good. We get to test some of our new sideboard tech. That was a good draw. Pass. The Dispels are not good in this matchup. But we're going to need to draw something else anyway. Rancor, no Ethereal Armor. Well, this is going to be tough. There's Frantic Inventory. All right, let's ping and just play Frantic Inventory now. We could still win this game, but it's going to be tough. All right, pass the turn. We basically need to combo ASAP and then win and hope they have nothing else, which they certainly might not have anything else. So we basically just have to beat their, their clock here. I'm just going to dart them. Wedge Walker, okay. That does not change the clock. I'm going to dart here again. I need to just race, basically. So giving myself any opportunity to do so is good. This is going to be over quick, though, one way or another. Okay, brand to give inventory. It's draw two. Dispel and scred. Well, I needed a land. So, yeah, I think we're dead here. I don't think there's any way I can deal that much damage. All right. 
we got got by boggles we didn't have the interaction maybe i should just have some number of curfew but i'm not sure i'm gonna try these we also get to bring in cannonades i think scred doesn't really do anything and snap doesn't really do anything most of the a lot of times they just play only hexproof creatures and then if they play other creatures we can just deal with those um, with like bolts or darts but keep all the removal that goes phase of oh, these don't do anything either I have brought in like a Pyroblast before. I think I want all the card advantage, all the combo pieces, all the preordains, lootings, and burn spells that go face. So it's basically like I need to play two more cards out of these bad cards here. I could play a Scred. I could play Snaps. I could play Gorilla Shamans. I honestly, it seems really, really bad. But I honestly don't hate Pyroblast, especially on the play, because I could just try to Pyroblast a Boggle on the stack. It's so weird, but it might be better than everything else I have. Maybe just something like Snap is better, but I'm going to try it. I don't think Gorilla Shaman does anything. Dispel likely doesn't do anything. It could. If I see some instance, I can change my mind, but yeah. Let's just try a couple Pyroblasts just to counter Boggles, basically. This hand's not great. Maybe I'm supposed to mulligan, actually, but I think I just can't mulligan a functional hand like this. I have to kind of hope that Boggles just, they kind of screw themselves and their draw is not that functional because that's what happens with that deck a lot. Sprawl name white, and then we have a great draw in Archer. So now if we draw untapped land, we can just get our combo going. And if we don't, we get to start getting our frantic inventories going. They kept seven, which is scary. Unbridled growth. They might not have much. They're going to play like a ledge walker. There's the boggle. Okay. Boggle into ethereal armor. It's good. Untap land. Not quite. I could have just passed with two blue mana because they might not know our list. So they might be scared of counterspell. Okay, we still need to draw another untapped land. If, it, if this is uh, Armadillo Cloak, it's going to be rough. Ethereal Armor into Ancestral Mass, 1919. What is this, turn three, attacking with a 1919? All right, I'm going to one. Doesn't have Trample yet. Cannonade, perfect draw. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get greedy. I'm going to play Frantic Inventory. And then if I draw an untapped land, I get to play Alchemist and Chump. And then next turn I can try to combo. I'm not, I'm not going to win this game just by like playing Thermo Alchemist, Chumping, doing nothing else this turn. So I need to get a little greedy here. All right. Well, I think we lose now. I can Chump with Archer this turn, I guess, but... All right, let's discard Cannonade and Fjord. Maybe I need Fjord, because I can play Fjord this turn, and then next turn play an untapped land. I think that's what I need to do, actually. So I just discard a Bolt. I kind of need to race as well. I'm just going to discard Fjord and try to draw into another land with this inventory. I guess I might as well just discard Island. Anything that gives Trample or Lifelink, we lose to. They should crack this to draw, right? Okay. GG's. Got caught by Boggles. That'll happen. Let's go round two. All right, welcome to round two. We're against Toggin. I don't know who this is yet. I guess I guess they know the channel, which is cool. All right, this hand is not very good. We have we have a bolt we can play. We have 
We can go island and then cycle and then get mountain, play mountain, and that's all we really have. I mean, this hand has two interaction spells or even three in Dispel, but this hand is just not that good. Hmm, I, could, I think I might just mulligan and try to get a better hand. Okay, well, I'll keep this. It's not great, but I can just put back a mountain, and then I can get an island on turn one, then turn two archer. They said training for the super qualifier, and I said, yep. That's what we're doing here. Now I think I might just bolt the uh, fairies here right now. They went top, top. I do want to test this Fey matchup. Oh, they're, they're not playing in the Super Qualifier? Why not? That sucks. I think I will bolt this. It's better just to kill their, their fairies while they're tapped out generally and not let them get ninja going and stuff. Uh, they can't play too much time. Unfortunate. All right, they're cycling. So they went top, top, but then they cycled away the second card. Probably just going to jam an archer here. Ponder, okay. Yeah, I'm going to jam archer, and then next turn I can cycle ash barons, get a mount, get an island, play looting. I might snap something, might not. But yeah, they chose to not shuffle. I mean, I feel like this archer is likely to die, but they need an untapped colored source, or if they're blue-black fae, they have children yeah it's it's a lot it's a lot i don't have kids right now yeah so they're blue black fey they could kill this what is this okay they just foretell a behold their draw looks pretty clunky over there i kind of want to leave up snap to potentially save my own thing i kind of want to just looting right now and see what i draw as well let's just start with looting could even just discard this snap, depending on what I draw. So I think what I'm going to do, this line is kind of weird. I can discard snap plus fjord, and then go island archer, and then just have bolt. I can also discard land land, and then hold the snap for one of their creatures. I mean, that just gives me more gas. Less lands, more gas. Sure. Okay. Didn't want to get four spike there, but with the Behold the Multiverse, I wasn't really putting them on four spike, so. Yeah, there's Behold. Their draw looks super awkward. They went top, top, and then island into Augur. Okay. Well, I can bolt that. And then leave up snap. I don't really want to snap it. They missed on Augur. Yeah, their draw is just looking pretty rough over there. Oh, wow. Tandem lookout. Can't. I could just resolve it. But I think it's better just to go bolt. That deals two damage to them. Then I attack for four. And I leave up snap. And then next turn tandem. Maybe that's incorrect. But I want to just get this off the battlefield, I think. I have, again, snap to protect one of my own creatures. I can snap one of their things that doesn't matter as much. They foretell another behold. Are they just like mono blue control or something? Not really sure. Dispel? I think I'm just going to leave that up instead of playing tandem. I know I could jam tandem, but then it might just get countered. They've drawn a lot of cards. Spell Sitter Spray? That's interesting. I mean, I can snap that. Also, just whichever one of my archers they block, I could just snap that and then replay it. And then I ping for two, replay my archer, and still have Dispel up. If I snap this, I ping for two and then hit for four, though. But then they have a spell that are in hand still. I think that's actually better. They have another Behold Foretold. They might just be mono blue with auger and like more spells.
think I'm just going to snap the spells that are in Get In for more damage here. Now that I know about it, I can choose to not attack into it if I want. Another option is because they haven't played any removal yet, is I can just jam a tandem lookout here. I think that's actually what I'm going to do. Nice. And then I can just flashback looting, or if I draw a spell, I can just play that. But now that I've resolved the tandem, it's it's better. We know about spells that are in hand. We know this is most likely another Behold. I don't know what else it would be. Yeah. So we don't get to dispel this, but I think it's worth. They're at five. I have the combo. Interesting deck from the opponent. Looks cool, though. It looks like it's like mono blue kind of controlling kind of mid-range with a ninja package with auger yeah, and they just concede so nice i don't fully know what they're on but i know that i need pyroblast i don't think i want cannonade here i think this is probably all i want i think snaps can come out and then what are the last two cuts i think i'm just bringing in pyroblast I think I want all the darts. I don't hate boarding out one looting. Could even board out one preordain. Keep in all my removal. I like to do I like to side out some cantrips in these kind of blue mirrors. Not that this is exactly a mirror, but you get it. Alright, let's go game two against Tagum. Alright, game two, zero lands. Our draws have looked pretty rough here. All right, snap, keep this. This hand looks great. I can just put back Ash Barons. All my other cards are good, and then I can go looting, discarding inventory, and deep analysis. So hopefully this looting resolves. If they just pass with two mana up, I'm going to lead on Preordain because I don't want my looting to get spell stuttered. I'd rather this get spell stuttered, or I can also play a bolt to protect, but with the looting, I can't. So let's go land, preordain. And if they go spell stutter, I'll bolt it. Kind of want to just bottom bottom. I mean, I guess this tandem lookout is probably fine. I don't think I need another looting. If my first one gets countered, I'll just flash it back. It's just top. Go looting. Hydroblast, okay. That's another reason why looting is decent though. They get mountain, okay, so they're blue red fey. Fairy seer, I'm just probably just gonna flash this back. It just provides so much value. Don't really want to just jam look out here. I could, but I think flashing this back is actually better. Nice. Could not even discard the uh, deep analysis and just discard for any inventory plus tandem and then just plan on hard casting this to just like go up even more in cards. I don't hate that. Definitely want to discard for any inventory because the first one is just not good to cast anyway. Yeah. I don't think I need all these tandems. And I do want to hard cast deep analysis, so. Let's see if I get ninja here. Looks like it. We'll see if I'm able to bolt this ninja. If they play untapped land and pass, that's pretty scary. Wow, they just don't have a land? I guess I just lead on Frantic Inventory, draw two. And then probably just bolt this now. Yeah, they could have another Hydro Blast, but what else can I really do? I could play Alchemist, but that dies to a removal spell as well. Let's just try to draw a land here. Okay, did draw a land. I'm going to actually get another Mountain and then just try to bolt it now. See if they're F6, actually. 
Looks like they're not. They probably have a counter for this, but still going to play it now. I don't want to get spell stuttered. Yeah, and they didn't play their, their one drop, so that makes sense. Brainstorm. I have another removal spell for this now, though. Hmm. The good thing is next turn I can play Thermo and Lightning Bolt. So they, they get to draw one more, but should be fine to kill the, the ninja now, I, I believe. So they went Brainstorm and they essentially shuffled because they scried two cards away. So the old Brainstorm Fairy Seer trick. All right. So they could have Pyroblast now. So I think they're just not going to play a blue spell. I'm just going to play Thermal Alchemist and then play Bolt. Alternatively, I could just play... Yeah, yeah, I'm still going to do that. I don't need to play Deep Analysis yet, I don't think. Let's play Thermo. And again, they could just Bolt this, but I'll just Bolt this. Then next turn I can play Deep Analysis. I think I like uh, the play of not discarding Deep Analysis earlier because... These matchups are super, super grindy. No ninja, please. Okay, that's good. Their first, their draw game one was just so awkward. They have double behold, which is interesting. Okay, ponder. They choose to not shuffle and then they play a land. All right, Pyroblast is great. They have potentially Hydroblast available. Could just Pyroblast this, but I don't really want to. I can play Deep Analysis. I think that's what I'm gonna do rather than Tandem. Not sure about that. Yeah, I'm just gonna play this. I know it could die, but I could have played a deep analysis there, but I think I like playing Firebrand Archer now. And then next turn I can go tandem with Pyroblast. Okay, well, we still have a deep analysis, which is just so good in these mirrors. Okay, no ninja, that's good. Another fairies here. All right, where are my darts at? We also have double frantic inventory in the yard. All right, there's a bolt. I think I'm leading on just deep analysis. Okay, resolved, that's good. Let's go play Firebrand Archer. Counterspell. Play Thermal Alchemist. I don't need to Bolt or Pyroblast yet. Yeah, I'm up on cards now. If they don't have another removal spell, I get to combo. Augur, no burn spell. Well, I had to say it. They bolt my thing. I'm behind here for sure. But this is not an unwinnable position. My hand is four spells and a looting. Interesting. It's not like I have that much in my hand I want to discard, but I'll still looting here. Discard a land plus tandem, I suppose. That's all I can really do. They played this deck. Sweet. Matina? I don't know who that is. I've heard that name Matina before, but I'm but I'm not sure. I think I want to just bolt the auger now. Maybe I don't. Maybe I don't care about it. I could also just resolve tandem lookout right now, but I think that's worse than playing it next turn. I don't want to get spell stuttered. What else am I really needing to bolt? I don't need to bolt these flyers. I don't think. I know they're hitting me for one, but. I'm just worried about them going like kill this and then ninja. 
I'm just going to pass. They said, yeah, when it works. Yeah, it can, it can be rough sometimes, but I think it's a, uh, I think it's a good deck. I mean, we're grinding here against Blue Red Bay, one of the best decks in the format. We're up one game. Augur of Bolas. All right, I'm going to try to Pyroblast this. If just two cards left, we have a Bolt. Another Augur, geez. It's a lot of Augurs. They put no cards into their hand, okay. I'm not going to Bolt anything right now because I want to use it to draw a card next turn with the combo. I don't think they have a Burn Spell where they would kill this. They could have Pyroblast, but I don't think there's anything I can do about that. Just go for it. Soul Bond. Ping Draw. Okay. When it works, it's good. There's a Scred. Nice. I wonder if I should just kill both Fairies now. I think I should kill both Augurs, actually. I am going to draw another card right now because I could always play the Bolt to untap this. I'm going to hold this land to discard the looting. Lava Dart, let's go. Because I can flash this back and draw another card with Dart. So Dart is like perfect right here. There's Deep Anal, it's a good draw. Dart makes this matchup, like, I think a lot better. Okay, so now I'm actually not supposed to draw, right? Because I want to be able to block Augur. Yeah, okay. We're definitely ahead at this point. That was a pretty sick turn. Burn spell, scred my thing, okay. Let's go ping draw, draw dispel. Okay, Scred. All right, we need to find another creature, but we just drew so many cards there. We go to six. They have one card in hand. Ninja. This is what I did not want to happen. Making replay Augur here. We can still kill both their creatures, so I'm still in a reasonable position, but... What are they going to hit here? Behold the Multiverse, probably worst case. Scred, okay. Scred's not great for us either, but I'm going to kill both their creatures. I think I just Scred both of their things. Let's go Scred this. Scred this. And just play Deep Analysis. They have a Scred in hand. It's not, let's make sure we don't do not make them draw two. There's a Frantic Inventory and a Pyroblast. Nice. So they're going to kill this, but then we're going to Ancestral Recall. We have Pyroblast up next turn. I could always Deep Analysis, go to two, but I don't really want to. I could play this and then play Friending Inventory, but I think I'm fine just to Inventory now. And I could always discard this Ash Barons to a Looting. Yeah, nice. Okay. So let's go Mountain, Firebrand Archer, Soul Bond. We know they have Scred, so this is going to get broken up. Oh, they should not let me Soul Bond here. They Scred the Archer. Okay, that happens. Should I Looting right now? I don't get to have both my removal spells up, but... And I have to play an Ash Barons, but... I feel like it might be worth it. I don't want to deep analysis going to two, because then I died a bolt. I think it's fine. Uh, I'll just wait till next turn. So we knew about the scred, but I still like the line we took. We're just beating down. We have Pyroblast. 
way ahead on cards. I can looting away these lands next turn. I can also cycle them for basics to thin. I think I actually like that with that. I can just do it with two of them actually. And then I can just discard these basics just so I thin my deck of lands. Pretty sick. I don't need any more islands, I don't think. Another tandem. All right, let's just lead on that. They need another removal spell here. Counter spell doesn't actually do it. And then we just soul bond, draw two. Okay, spell fetter spread, I get to bolt. So yeah, this is looking pretty good. And soul bond. Yes. Okay. Then I attack, draw two. 19 cards left in library, that's plenty. Land, land, geez. Just flashback looting. Okay. Go. 15 cards in deck. Augur in two. Preordain. Okay, it's scary. This has been a good game. One bottom, one top. Brainstorm. Brainstorm in this position can be good and it can be really bad. Because like if there's one good card and two bad ones, no shuffle effect, you know you're just not winning the game. Because you had to put two bad cards on top. Okay. Oops. I just tried to dispel that auger. Well. Should bolt it. Hope no spell setter. Okay, they actually do have it. Jeez. I think I'm going to deep analysis now. I have a dispel for a bolt as well. Reordain, bottom, bottom, there's dart, okay, they're at 10, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go dart this, then I'm going to attack with both, they have to block, I draw two, and then I dart this, and then I have nine cards left, I'm fine letting them break this up, I should have more creatures left, I haven't really been keeping track, but... All right, so they block there. Then I get to draw two. There's a Pyroblast. Can't quite kill them yet. Just dart from hand. Now, we don't know what cards they put on top with Brainstorm, but this is close. They're at eight. I have two darts in the yard. I think I can draw here. <laughs> draw four down to four cards in library. There's Archer. Okay. Guess just play this out. Archer. I'm actually not going to Soul Bond because I don't actually want to draw any more cards. No. It's the first time I've ever said no to that. That's pretty crazy. And then we can go Preordain, Ping. Down to three cards. If they have spell setter, it just doesn't work against dart. Oh, let's just go bottom, top. That's oh, just cycling. Let's go play Thermal Alchemist, and then I'll attack. Again, I don't want to soul bond. I don't want to draw any more cards. There's the spell setter. So I can just pyroblast this. I think that's fine. I can just save the darts to go face. I have another pyroblast, so. So they go to six, then they go to four. 
And then I can actually just win here, right? Because I can just go, they're at four, and then each dart deals two. And I could also just go Pyroblast and dispel my own Pyroblast. So I have like extra lethal here. So I actually didn't even need to play this out. That was kind of just a mistake. But drew the deck, found a way to win. Nice. Advanced to one and one. Their first draw wasn't great, but second game was good. Good good games, Toggin. That was pretty cool. What were our last three cards? So looting was on bottom. Yeah, really nice opponent. Pleasure playing them. See, our last two cards were just lands that we bought them, so we had nothing left. But um, yeah, we were just able to barely get there. <laughs> that was that was pretty sick. I mean, th they were at twenty eight cards in library, and we had three cards in library, so pretty sick. We just really outdrew them. So nice, beat blue red Fay. Their first draw just wasn't really functional, so that sucks. I thought they were some like weird mono blue control deck type thing. Just because they never like found a red source. Yeah, I'm gonna keep this. Okay, Mulligan to six. Let's keep. Mulligan to five. Four. Is it Cycle Storm? I'm calling it. Or it's the Menace. One of the two decks. Give me two shots. It's Cycle Storm or it's the Menace. Oh, it's burn. Basic mountain, basically like basic mountain, basic basic mountain should be burn. I, it's very likely to be burn. Um, just gonna lead fjord here. Next turn, if they play thermal alchemist, I can go mountain bolt for your name. Yeah. Okay. They have two cards left. When burn mulligans this low, it's kind of hard for them to win. I am going to preordain here. I don't need to leave up Dispel yet. Um, don't need Frantic Inventory, but I'll draw another bullet in case they have more creatures that I need to kill. There's another creature. Um, could just play Archer and then bolt this. I think it's actually fine to do that. Then we get to bring in Quad Hydro Blast here, which is nice. They have two cards left. Yeah, they can kill my Archer probably, but I don't really care. Next turn, I can Archer with the spell up. Chain Lightning, sure. It's also a burn spell that they're not putting at our face, so. Hopefully they try to play like a bolt end of turn on this or go land Searing Blaze and I can counter it. Curse of the Pierced Heart. Okay, that resolves. Be pretty crazy if I lose this game. It's possible. Just yield to this for now. You can always undo auto yields by going like, turn off auto yields right here. Right click and then turn off auto yields. Right click anywhere. Um, let's just start with preordain over inventory actually. Yield to this. I do not need either of these. Another Dispel. I'm just going to pass with Dispel up, and then if they like tap out for something, I can inventory, but I think this is correct here. It was kind of weird playing out the Ash Barons, but it just seemed so much better to me at the time. I think I'm actually just going to untap here. I kind of want this to survive now that I've double Dispel. Needle drop me. Um, I think I just Dispel this. I don't want them to draw any cards. Bolt. Just go inventory, draw one. I mean, we're de we're winning this race at this point, but it was also seven cards to four, so it's not like it's that impressive. <laughs> Could still lose this game. Okay, nice. 
I know this only deals one damage, but I want to keep this alive, so I'll just counter this. No, no need to bolt yet. I have so much mana. I'm gonna hold that for looting. Could have even held the last land for looting. Wow. I mean, if they just have another removal spell for my archer, I'm kind of just sitting here doing nothing. Oh wow. I get to fire this back at them. So I go bolt them for four, put them to five, and then chain lightning them down to two. Yeah, I'm gonna do that because then I then dart is lethal. Oh, but I don't get a trigger off the off the copy, right? Why isn't this bolt resolving? That was weird. Okay, so and then it lets me copy it, and they don't have actually two mana to copy it back. Pay two to do this, yes. Target this. And then they can copy it, but they don't. Okay. I'm at 16 still, so I got time. I have Dart and Bolt as wins. Bottom. Keep a draw two. Okay, nice. We were able to beat Burn on a multi-four. <laughs> okay. Hydro Blasts come in. I think these come out. Dispel is actually very good. Scred and Bolt. Oh no, Dart is bad. What am I talking about? Dart is bad. Snap is actually not that bad. Because I can just snap a either my own creature or their Thermal Alchemist. Can just be a free bounce spell. Maybe I even do this. Dart is actually, I think, really bad in the matchup. Be interesting. Like we saw Curse of the Pierced Heart, so we sometimes they don't have it. Generally, they do, but once in a while they don't have Curse. Um, but I've even brought in a Null just to only counter one card because sometimes you don't have anything else. But I mean, we have the Quad Hydro. I don't really. Need to worry about curse too much. Yeah, I'll keep echoing truth and the snaps, not the dart or the deep analysis. Deep analysis, I just never want to flash it back. So four mana draw two is not where you want to be. Yeah, keeping. They kept seven this time. Probably be a lot closer. All right, I don't have a mountain yet. Mountain? Not quite. I'm not in a rush to play out this looting either because uh, I want good stuff to discard with it. This is kind of unfortunate because I have to bolt this and I have to leave their one their uh, other creature around. But that's what I'm going to do. The next turn I get to play Alchemist with this spell up, so that's reasonable. I can block their Lava Runner. Looks like they may be a little bit flooded here. I spend Rift Bolt, okay. I could just play Archer, assuming that they're going to Rift Bolt whatever creature I play. So I think I will do that. And if they Rift Bolt my face, then I can just trade Archer with the Lava Runner if I want. It's not a play I make that often, but it's one I might make here if they let me. I feel like they're going to Rift Bolt my Archer, though. They don't. Wow. Another land. So now I just want to see more lands. Oh, Searing Blaze. That's an easy dispel. It's like the easiest dispel I've ever seen. And now I'll block. They let me. Okay, they don't. They have two cards left. I'm at 13. There's the Bolt. kind of want to just go play Firebrand Archer Bolt this right now. So I will. Where's, where's my Hydro Blast set? Got four of them in the deck. Can I draw them? So they bolt that. That's good for me. They Lava Spike me. One card left. All right, let's play a Looting. Just discard Ash Barons. Looting. Play Thermal Alchemist. I don't even know if I'm going to play this land. 
I don't know. I just don't know if I need it. I could play it and then flashback the looting. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll do that. It is good to have a couple more lands in play for when I chain cantrips here. Okay, they had nothing left. I think I'd rather flashback looting than playing one from hand. I think it's better. Oops, I have to ping. That's why I never yield to this trigger. If I ever forget, then I can just do it in response. Okay, there's tandem. So now, now I can discard land. I can discard land inventory or, a, or a land looting. I think land inventory is actually better because next turn I can go tandem lookout plus looting. All right, let's pass. Cannot ping now because if they lava runner, I want to be able to block it. Okay, they're just flooded over there. Wow. The combo is actually reasonable in this matchup, I found. There's Archer. Right, let's go for the combo. This forces them to act. Ping draw. And then I'm going to go looting right now. And then draw before looting resolves because I want to draw an extra card to see what I want to discard. There's another inventory. It's actually good. So now I just discard land, land. Pass. So I think I can likely win next turn. And I'm at 10. They could kill my creature, yeah. But then I can just soul bond again. They sh maybe should have killed this. I'm not really sure. So I'm going to soul bond, attack, draw. And then I'll probably lead on Preordain. I, I just want to find Hydro Blast here. Okay, land is actually good. Let's go Preordain, Ping Draw. Scred and Tandem Lookout. I mean, I might need the scred, but I also just might not. I'm just going to bottom, bottom. Hmm. Am I supposed to deploy Thermo Alchemist or play inventory? I think I'm supposed to just deploy this. So they have two cards in hand, so I could get burned out for sure. They just don't have anything. Their draws just have not been good this match. So they're just dead here, right? Just going off. There's the Hydro Blast. There's a Looting. Nice. Advance to two and one. Beat Blue Red Bay, beat Burn, got crushed by Boggles. I think I'm like two and three or maybe one and three lifetime against Boggles with this deck. They haven't all been the most recent iteration, especially with the new cyborg cards, but Boggles does seem like a pretty rough matchup. Maybe I'm just supposed to have curfew to help out. I'm not I'm not really sure. Oh, it's Diego. Nice. So he's always a nice opponent as well. They mulligan to six. I'm going to keep this hand. Mulligan to five. I wonder what they're on. Is it just, are they on Mardu? They're mulligan to four? Rough. Step? Oh, it's the Menace? Oh, yeah, yeah. Is this what they always play? I'm, I'm kind of confusing Diego with maybe somebody else. Um, I could lead Looting on turn one, but I think it's safer just to lead Fjord. 
They're on the huge mulligan here, and they wed step, so they might not have another land. Probably just going to play Alchemist on two. If they play a creature I can kill, I'll probably just bolt it. The Raven, okay. Yeah, yeah, it's just Mardu. I was right, I was right. And when I say Mardu, it's like Boros Monarch, basically. They have two cards in hand and one card on the table. This matchup actually... I don't know if it's that bad. They, they can like accrue so much value, but... I guess they do have a fair amount of removal spells in the main deck. They have like sometimes up to eight removal spells in the main deck or more. So if that's the case, that's a lot. Yeah, so it's it's Boros Monarch. Really rough on the mulligan there. I think they, they had to mulligan low last time I played them as well. Oh, that is tempting. That's really tempting. Yeah, I'm going to get my card now, and it forces them to, to act. Pass. I mean, with the opponent on such a bad mulligan, just forcing them to have to interact here and getting my card is just feels really good to me. Golden Egg. See if they can come back. Maybe I can find another pinger here. Let's just lead Preordain. Another Preordain and another Faithless Looting. I don't think I need these, actually. Maybe Preordain's good enough, but I'm just going to bottom bottom. I already have multiple other cantrips. All right, now it's looting. I don't think I need to bolt this y quite yet. So I discard dart. And what? In tandem? It's, it's kind of... It seems reasonable to actually even discard a land, but... I kind of want to keep both my lands. I'm just going to go with my gut here. Hmm. kind of want another blue source as well. All right, I don't get to attack this turn, but I get my Fjord down, which really opens up my mana for next turn. Yeah, they could have more removal spells, so maybe I wasn't supposed to discard this, but I don't hate it. Yeah, I think last time I played them, they were just on a huge mulligan as well, and they got kind of, like, fucked in game three or something. Can't really recall, but I'm, I'm pretty sure that that's what happened. Okay, there's Journey. And another... They play another land. Interesting. I think I can play Island. Play Preordain. Let's bottom both of these. We don't really have any card advantage going here. Now I wish, obviously, after drawing a couple lands, I wish that I had uh, kept this tandem look out. So maybe that was a little bit greedy. Another removal spell? Prism? That deck just grinds, man. Could bolt the Glenhawk right now. I think that's actually worth. They still have this clue sitting here. They're on like a mold of four and they just have been just getting so much value. They haven't even had time to crack clue yet. Playing another land. Four Sky Fisher, Bounce Prism, or Golden Egg. I guess, it, oh, Bounce the Raven, sure. Wow. All right, that's looting. I think I actually want to hold on to the deep analysis in my hand um, because I want to just use it for the full amount here. All right. We're just grinding. They have two cards on the table, but we do have a deep analysis finally, so that's something. 
Uh, they're just playing out all their lanes. I guess they have bounce lands for these also. Okay, they monarch. Jeez. <laughs> okay, so now we go Thermal Alchemist, Soul Bond. All right, maybe I wasn't supposed to Soul Bond yet. That might that might have been a mistake. I'm I'm not sure. I, maybe it was supposed to lead on this. I was for somehow thinking I could draw off the deep analysis. Mm -hmm. Snap would have actually been nice to not deploy this. Okay, well, is what it is. We don't really get to take Monarch here. If I don't really, we don't get to, but if they don't find a removal spell this turn, um, I might be all right. Because just untapping with the combo here is good. Okay, they did. Wow. Now I don't get to a braid, so I get punished. I really was not supposed to deploy that. I, maybe I was, because I need to untap with that anyway. Okay, there's Scred. So now, do I just lead by flashback deep analysis? Because I can remove both these blockers and take the Monarch, probably. They, they could have a bolt for this. Let's just lead deep analysis. There's another dart and another inventory. And I have no more lootings in the yard. All right, let's go dart this. They're F6, dart this. I guess I'm supposed to scred first, technically. Scred this, dart this, take the Monarch, pass the turn with the snap up. It's so funny that like they run a multi four, but then like, this is such an even game. <laughs> Does not bode well for the future games. Suffocating fumes. Right, I'm gonna save my thing. Most of their stuff I don't want to snap anyway. And then I'll frantic inventory, draw one. Reaping the graves. Jeez. Okay. They can't play the Palace Sentinels this turn, so they get back Core Skyfisher, Glint Hawk, Palace Sentinels. I think I'm going down here. <laughs> I mean, maybe not, maybe not, but yeah, it's not looking good. Okay, there's Firebrand. So I can actually deploy the combo and play spells all this turn. This spell, that's actually really nice. Because I think pretty much all their removal is instance. So let's go Tandem plus Archer, Soul Bond. Yes. And pass the turn. If I draw a Bolt, I'll play it. Okay, it's so a looting. We also have a Dart in the yard. Which is nice to know about. They're going to take the Monarch here, but I get to dispel, draw a card. We draw land. Prism. They should probably play their 2-4, right? Glint Hawk. Okay. Next turn I can do a lot, especially if they can't break up the combo here. They need another removal spell. Which they could have. They have Fumes main. Wow, that's pretty scary. Golden Egg. Sweet. This has been a damn impressive four. No, no Bolt. They could also draw both on their end step with the Monarch. Man, that deck is good. Okay, they take the Monarch, sure. 
Looks like no bolt. Okay. So let's just lead frantic inventory. I'd rather inventory before looting because I can draw more cards that I want to discard. Let's go Firebrand Archer, looting. Discard some of these. Let's go Preordain, draw. There's a deep analysis. Bottom top. Maybe I just look for more spells here. I think I top it actually. And then I just go mountain, commit to the board, pass the turn. Pretty funny that I just have to pass here, but I think it's what I have to do. I'm just gonna ignore the Monarch uh, at this point. Also at 13 and they're hitting for four in the air down to nine. Crazy game. They draw. We've already used two bolts, one scred. Galvanic Blast, my tandem. Sure. That's why I kept the second one. It's also a Galvanic Blast that they're not pointing at our face, which is good. All right, we get hit down to nine. I still have this dart, which I could have flashed back, but I can just do that next turn. And Galvanic Blast that as well. So they were one point off killing me. I wonder if they should have just gone for Bolting Face twice. I'm not really sure. Maybe they think if they can kill all my stuff that they'll just be able to win that way. So that's a reasonable line. Let's go Tandem Lookout. Soul Bond. At nine. I could play Deep Analysis, but it costs four mana. I could float one mana and start with a Flashback Dart. I do want to try to win this turn. So let's dart them for three, draw a card. Yeah, that was a damn good four. All right, should I looting or should I deep analysis? Um, I feel like I should they're basically the same thing. I don't need these two lands in my hand. Including cost one less mana. I'm not sure, but I think that this is what I'm supposed to do. Looting, ping, ping. Didn't find anything yet. There's Bolt. I think I just go face. There's dart. Okay, that should do it. Because each dart deals three. And there's a bolt. Okay. Whew! That was a crazy game. Super close. Jeez. That was insane. A null, a null can be good, and it can also just be bad. It's good if they only have like one prism that they need to resolve, and I just counter it early. It also messes with their mana. I think I'm going to try it. It can also counter Journey to Nowhere. Echoing Truth is also inter interesting for that fact, that I can just, um, like, Echoing Truth multiple Journey to Nowheres, or, like, multiple of their flyers. I don't think that's good. I don't think I want all four of my Hydro Blasts. Maybe I do. They're going to have Pyroblast, Bolt, and Galblast. And that's about it for red spells. I want at least two, that's for sure. 
actually don't think I want shenanigans. Or maybe... I mean, they have some number of artifact lands. I don't hate Gorilla Shaman, actually, because just being able to kill one or two lands can be so good. Alright, Snap's coming right out. I think I want the Dispels. Dart doesn't really actually have any targets. Do I want shenanigans as well just to kill lands? Mostly that's all I can use it for. I guess I could kill spare supplies or prism if I had to. Yeah, I mean, it's not terrible. I can shenanigans and annul and keep them off like their prisms. I don't really want to fight them on that axis, but I think I will. I can board out one looting. Do I want one more Hydra Blast? I mean, I kind of do. I'll try it without too many. Because I also have Dispel. I just don't want to be too flooded on that effect. I'm not sure about Gorilla Shaman and Shenanigans, but a lot of times they do play six artifact lands. And if you're able just if they have like a draw where they have like multiples and you just nab them, it's uh really good. Alright, I'm gonna get a mountain here and then I'll probably just jam an alchemist. Alright, maybe I won't if they're gonna just be able to like end up turn abraded or something. I do not want to just jam Alchemist into open mana. So it's just preordain. Hmm. Don't actually think I need looting or land here. I want to just hard cast this uh, deep analysis. I'll just cycle this Ash Barons for a mountain. Interesting that they didn't play anything on two. Cycle fumes. Interesting. Maybe I was supposed to just jam Alchemist, but. I feel like they have Bolt or Abrade as well. Oh, they don't have lands? Jeez, every time I play Diego, it feels like their draws are super awkward. There's a looting. I still don't even really want to play that yet. I mean, I guess I will. I can discard Deep Analysis, but like I said, I don't really want to yet. I'm, I'm just going to wait on it. That's why I like to side out a looting. You don't really want them to later in these super value matchups. I think this is just going to die, so maybe I'm just not supposed to play it, but I can start fighting through their removal and trading. Yeah. Maybe they wanted to cycle something else. Wow. All right, now I think I'm just going to play Deep Analysis Shenanigans. That actually could be decent, because if they just tap two mana, play a Prism, or, you know, a Golden Egg or something, I can just kill it. And now their core sky Christians and Lindhawks look kind of awkward. Alright, let's just draw up to seven. Double frantic inventory. Alright, now I can loot one of those away if I want. Which I probably do want to. Because that just gets like really good value out of my looting. Wow, they have to just play core sky Christian now. That's unfortunate. Because they don't get any value out of it and I just get to bolt it. I guess they gain one life. That's rough though. Scred. I guess I could scred rather than bolt. I don't know how many four toughness things they have. Just lead looting. There's Firebrand Archer. We actually don't have a land yet, which is pretty crazy. Let's discard inventory. I could also discard shenanigans and then dredge it when I need it. I don't hate that. And then I can just inventory draw two right now, looking for a land. Yeah. Oh, now I have to press cancel every time. Jeez, that sucks. All right, now I'm going to get mountain, play it. And I have plenty of screds, so I'll just scred that. Okay. Every day. I'm just not even going to say that. I was going to say, it seems like their draws are rough every time I play them. 
just unfortunate for them. I mean, I'm, I can still definitely lose this. All right, what am I supposed to do now? What I don't, which line I don't hate is go play Firebrand Archer, flashback deep analysis. And then if I hit a land, it's nice. If, and then I can also potentially looting. Let's go. I'm supposed to tap like this. That way I can have Hydro Blast up. Deep analysis. I guess I can't looting if I don't hit a land now, but I want to have Hydro Blast up. Gal Blast. Okay, that's Hydro Blast. Now, I, even if I don't draw a land, I don't have to discard, which is nice. Okay, well, that's infinite burn now. They have four mana. They probably just bolt this. They have a lot of cards in hand still, but... Ooh, wow. Bog. Okay. It's actually good against us. A null. A null is actually pretty decent as well. Definitely don't want a looting yet. Yeah, I'm supposed to tap like this. And then I have a null and um, burn spell is available. So they got two of my frantic inventories. But I was able to flash back my deep analysis first, which was nice. Gotta be aware of bog. I wasn't really thinking about it. Raven, sure. Oh, they got my shenanigans too. It's actually kind of annoying. Am I supposed to just scred this? I feel like I am to be mana efficient. I guess I can bolt it, but I kind of want to save the bolts to go face. Because I already have nine points of burn and any pinger I draw turns each one of these into four damage. All right, I'll keep that to discard to looting. Let's just actually loot right now, I suppose. Okay, there's Hydroblast and Inventory. Am I discarding Inventory or am I playing it? I don't really want to discard anything else. I know it's a draw one, but I think everything else in my hand is better. I don't want to flashback looting right now either, because again, I don't want to discard any of these cards. Could discard this scred, but I'd rather not. All right. Gorilla Shaman can also eat clues, which is kind of cool. There's a Thraben. Okay, I'm probably going to scred that again. They're like just like outpacing my damage with just a couple gain one lands because I'm not dealing like any damage. All right, let's kill these. Having the Hydro Blast here is huge. Okay, nice. I think I just tap like this. I'm not going to be able to really go off until next turn when this can start pinging on every spell. So I'd rather have both my blue spells up here. I'll try to attack and draw. I feel like they're going to try to play a removal spell. Yeah. Into Cannonade. Okay. I have to save my Alchemist, though. Yeah, I'll Soul Bond. Sure. Okay. So if I get to untap with this, now my bolts can deal four. At least four to face, or one, three to a creature and one to face. Kind of out of gas at this point. I have a looting, but <laughs> they're at 21. Whew. Okay. I have two cards in hand. They have no artifact lands out. Alright, let's flashback looting. Discard lands. Pass the turn. Still doing okay. If they play any type of prism or something, I'm going to annul it. I can just start taking two off this. 
They have nothing in the yard that really matters. Wow. Oh, I, I missed a ping. Damn, that kind of sucks, actually. Just ping now, draw. Should I bolt now? I think so. I want to make sure I can draw as many cards as possible here. Ooh, Gorilla Shaman. That could be good later. Now, I definitely need to leave up Dispel. Yeah, missing one damage sucked, but it's probably not going to be relevant in this game. It could be, but... I wonder if I even let an artifact resolve here. Probably not. They said LOL, look at this hand. Seems like they really always draw horribly against me. They're a good player and their deck is good. Um, their deck is really good. I mean, I've been pretty impressed with uh, Boros Bully. I played it for like, or not Bully, Boros Monarch. I played it for a league or two and it's strong. Um, so yeah, super unlucky. They had the Glint Hawks. I mean, I did have a Null to counter like one Pathetic Prism, but that's one of the dangers of this deck actually is if they break up, like if they, if your hand is like one Pathetic Prism in double Glint Hawk and they counter the Prism or kill it, then your Glint Hawks are kind of stranded. I mean, I had Gorilla Drum and a Null, but I know I didn't have it up to later. They were just stuck on two lands for so long. They mulligan to four in the first game. So yeah, just really unfortunate, Diego. You'll you'll draw better and you'll you'll probably beat me next time. <laughs> Alright, well we advanced to three and one. So that's pretty cool. Let's go round five. Alright, three and one. Welcome to round five. We're against Vinny Torres. I'm going to keep this hand. What what deck is this opponent usually on? Are they a mono white heroic? No. I think they play different decks. Should I preordain on turn one? I think so. Bolt and Faithless Looting. I kind of want to bottom both of these. Could top the bolt. If they have multiple creatures, it is going to be good, but I already have two removal spells, and I don't need looting. I think I'm just going to bottom-bottom, looking for more creatures and stuff. There's been a fair amount of burn here. They're just going to play a Thermal Alchemist? No. They don't have another land? They do. Okay, I'm at 13. All right, let's go land faithless looting. I had to play land because I needed the red source. I think I can just discard dart plus deep analysis because I can hard cast one of these. All right, probably not going to win this. Probably not winning this game is my guess. They just don't do anything. It's kind of scary to be honest. I'm just supposed to play this. It's not very good, but it's what we have. Maybe if I can draw a Firebrand Archer, I have a chance. Are they just super flooded? Looting? I wonder if I'm supposed to looting or just cast deep analysis. I think looting is just better. I wonder if I'm supposed to cycle Ash Barons first. I don't think so. It's just cast looting. All right, that's something. So now I can discard Frantic Inventory deep analysis and then play Fjord Pass and then just cast one of these. Am I not supposed to? Discard Deep Analysis? No, I am. Okay, we have a draw two. If they have like two or three lands in hand, we might just do this. 
That's why I don't always like to play these non-blue decks because I just want to draw cards. Wow, they're just not doing anything. They don't have lethal. Okay, we just drew lands, so that was unfortunate. I do not want to flash back a deep analysis. God damn. Okay, let's go flashback looting. <laughs> okay. I there's just no way that I can take three damage, right? I'm just I'm just not going to. Just hope they just draw land and creatures. Just go you know, cast Rift Bolt, target me. I'm at 10. Then are they going to bolt me? And then double Fire Blast? They got ultra flooded here. I wonder if I'm supposed to bolt them. I think I am. Because I'm going to try to draw two cards here. I'm going to have a scred for a creature that they could play. I feel like they might have lethal. They're just deciding if they should go for it or not. And I don't want them to go for it because I don't have anything to stop it. Soul Bond, yes. And then attack, draw two, need to draw Dispel here, Bolt, target me, yeah, I figured this would entice them to go for it, they just Bolt me, okay, Dispel, Frantic Inventory, Scred, so I did not play a land yet. So I can't kill them. I just have to hope they draw another brick somehow. I just can't believe I've survived this long, to be honest. I'm not doing, like, anything this game. I can Ancestral here, but... Chain Lightning. They have to have Fire Blast, right? I wonder if I could have gone... Um... The four play mountain just play frantic inventory and then just try to draw dispel plus mountain or plus island that wouldn't have mattered okay let's do the same plan that we did against burn last time seems good all right Yeah, I have to keep. Just lead prayer day and looking for hydro blasts, basically. Hmm. How greedy do I want to get? I mean, I could just bottom bottom. I do need another land, but both of these essentially are tap lands anyway. I think it. I'm gonna just at least draw the Ash Barons because then next turn I can go Lightning Bolt or Scred something and cycle Ash Barons. So I think I'm supposed to at least draw Ash Barons. I don't know if I want to run out Alchemist yet because it's just likely to die. And I kind of want to protect it. Lava Spike me, okay. So. Yeah, again, I think I'm just not going to play Alchemist here. Try to protect it a little bit. Maybe I'll run it out later, but... Lightning Bolt me? Okay. They just have an all burn hand. It's going to be rough. Skewer? Yep. Alright, let's get Mountain. They have four cards in hand. Removal Spell? Okay, well now I need to play one. I'm just going to pretend like I have Dispel or Hydro Blast up rather than leave up Bolt. That could be wrong, but um, I'm going to do it. 
Skewer my thing. Skewer target me? Uh oh. Yeah, let's go island combo. Try to draw Hydro Blaster Dispel right now. Maybe I was supposed to leave up a burn spell. Okay, well I have nothing available here. I think I'm just gonna die. Just play a couple bolts and that's it. Oh no, I didn't leave up red. That's what I was afraid of. I think I need to block. That sucks. Might have just punted. I mean, I, I took a specific line and it didn't really seem to work out. All right, start with ping, and then let's go looting. And I just want to find interaction at this point to not die. There's Dispel, that's good. Let's discard Inventory, Land, Play Land, Play Alchemist, Pass the Turn. I could be okay now. They play Land, that's good. It's definitely not going to Bolt here, because I get one extra damage if I Bolt next turn with Double Alchemist. Okay. Let's go ping ping, flashback looting. Two more lootings, geez. Just discard Bjord looting, and then I think I'm going to play another looting right now. I could discard a Scred if I have to here. They're at 13. Again, definitely want to leave up Dispel, no question. There's Hydro Blast, nice. So now I can just discard Scred plus Looting. Now I'm feeling pretty decent. Again, the reason why I left up Island was to like represent something else. I wonder if I'm just supposed to counter this. I don't think so, because they still need two more spells. Not one spell they have deals me five damage. So I'd rather just let this resolve. Okay, it looks like they're just passing. Can I kill them? Maybe. So I ping them down to nine. There's Echoing Truth. I might be able to just do this. Let's think about this. Ping them down to nine. Then bolt them. That takes them down five damage, down to four. And then I just play two more spells. It's a little bit risky because then I have to tap out to do so. And I'm, I'm at five. I think I can just pass the turn. See if I, what if I lead on Faithless Looting? If I ping down to nine, Faithless Looting flashback, get them down to seven. And then I can respond to any spell and kill them. And if I draw another land, it's actually really good. I think I'm gonna go for that. So flashback looting. Maybe I'm just maybe I'm just not. Maybe that's wrong. Because I have Hydroblast and Dispel up here. So I'm pretty safe actually. Alright, I'm just not gonna do that actually. Because I can counter two of their spells. And if I just pass here, I, I think I'm safe enough to just like bolt them and then win on the next turn. Yeah, see now I can just go bolt you. And then I can flashback looting with double blue spell up still. So I think this is the correct line. Okay, nice. Whew, got him.
they probably saw the writing on the wall that I had interaction. All right, not gonna change anything. I think this is the sideboard plan that I like. Let's draw some Hydroblasts. Yeah, I'm gonna keep, they're on, they're on six. One thing that's nice is if I'm able, if they have, if they draw a lot of creatures, it's actually bad for them in this matchup because I can kill the creatures. All right, let's just lead on turn one cycle ash burns. I'm not going to loot in quite yet. I don't have inventories I want to discard yet. Chain lightning me. Okay. Land. Needle drop me. Okay, can't can't respond to that. They have four cards left. I'm at sixteen. Let's get island. I feel like I'm supposed to just jam alchemist here. I can get searing blaze though. I have to play one of my pingers, right? They have to have land plus searing blaze, and if they just have to spend like a lightning bolt or a chain lightning or something on this alchemist then that's fine they're just targeting me wow okay skewer target me a oh, skewer target thermo okay makes sense all right now i just go mountain that was a good draw firebrand archer with this spell up now i can counter a searing blaze lightning bolt that I'll still just dispel. And they have oh, they didn't they did not have searing blaze. Okay. Good to note. Yeah, I'm just gonna go here. They have to interact, I think. They have two cards left. I'm just gonna go for the attack. Two mana, two one, three. Oh wow, they fire blast the archer. Yeah, great. I think that's really bad for them. Yeah, the, the combo does threaten a lot. Okay, there's a thermo. I can just kill that. Inventory. All right, so let's lead looting now. Because I can't kill this and tandem lookout and attack. So let's just lead fate this looting. Discard tandem lookout. Frantic inventory. Scred this. And attack for two. They have zero cards left and they're on two mana. I'm at 13, so I think I'm like super far ahead here. I can play Alchemist next turn, attack draw one. Alternatively, I can tandem lookout, attack draw two. I think that's actually better. I know they can break up the combo, but then I can just combo again next turn. And this way I draw two this turn and threaten to draw four next turn without even playing spells. All right, they have a removal spell. Okay, it's fine though, like I said. I still like playing tandem before uh, Alchemist, I think. If they're like pointing their burn spells at my creatures, I think it just favors me. I'll keep this to discard diluting. Go for the soul bond again and then attack. Build your own ninja. That's what it feels like a lot of times. Could wait till next turn to preordain, but I, I don't think that's correct. Let's just go bottom, top. Could just play land now, because then I can flash back inventory to draw two and then looting. I don't need, I actually want more mana, so. I mean, if they don't have anything, they're just gonna be dead here. Kill my thermo. Okay. Well, I still have a 2 1, and I still have a draw 2. Hydroblast? Yeah, that's just going to be great. Nice. This should seal it up because I get to draw a card, and then I have Hydroblast up, and then I can untap with the combo. And then they only have one draw step, and I can answer any card in their deck because Hydroblast counters everything. Sweet. Looks like we're going to. 4-1 this league.
been doing well. I 3 2 the last league cause, only because I lost to the mirror in round five. Go check out that league if you haven't. This deck has been performing well. I just 5 2 the challenge, 3 2 to league, and then 4 1 to league. I know uh, Diego got pretty unlucky against us in the last round, so that was kind of unfortunate for them. They just concede. Nice. Got the 4 1. Got some chests. Got a couple QPs. Yeah, I would not change anything. The Boggles matchup still seems a little bit rough, actually. So, I mean, instead of one of these Anoles, I could have one Curfew. I don't even know if that's better, technically. I mean, I do have a lot of other removal spells to make Curfew good in other matchups, like against Mono White, then Curfew's decent, but Anol is fine there, too. So, yeah, I just probably wouldn't change anything. Uh, just run this back. Like I said, I've been doing really well. The deck grinds. The deck is good. So sweet. Another 4-1. And uh, until next time, thanks so much, so much for watching. My channel is youtube.com slash snapbolt. My name is Max. Peace.